Hey, welcome back. All right, so far we only have two routes for screams, one that gets all the screams and one that posts a scream. Um, let's add a route for getting one scream and getting all the details that are pertaining to that one scream. So let's do that. All right, first of all, I don't know why I did this, like these three user routes should be grouped with the user routes like this. And let me remove this white space. All right, let's, Let's write this uh, route. So this will be a post, of course. So app, uh, sorry, a get. <laughs> a get at slash. So this um, this is a URL that would need the, uh, the scream ID that we need to, uh, because this is the only way of sending data through a get request is in the URL parameters. So we'll do slash scream slash colon slash uh, scream ID. This colon will tell um, our application that this is a, a route parameter and we can access its value. And of course it's not protected because we want in our application to allow users to view screams and comments and all this stuff even when they're not logged in. Like Twitter, because this is kind of a Twitter clone. All right, so the function will be called get scream. And uh, let's actually, uh, I want to write all the other routes as a to do so that I'll, so that you'll have an idea of what we're going to actually be creating later. So we're going to have a route for deleting. So delete uh, scream. And we're going to have, oops, to do, let me copy this to do so I don't have to type it again. Uh, like a scream. Oops, scream. And we're gonna have another one for unliking a scream. We're gonna have a, a comment on scream. And I believe this is what we're gonna do next because it's the one that makes uh, sense the most. All right, so we have a route for getting one scream. But before we do that, I wanna add some dummy data. I wanna add a collection, a comments collection which holds exactly that. And before I add the document, I want to copy something and paste it. I don't want to type it and waste time on it because you might not want to type it. I'm going to paste it right here. So these are the um, how our comments are stored in our database. So they have a user handle so that we will know who submitted this comment. And uh, they have a scream ID and uh, that refers to which screen they pertain to. So when we grab a screen, we grab its comments by this scream ID uh, property. And they have a body of what the, the comment says. And of course they have a created at on of uh, when they were actually created. All right, I believe maybe later they will hold an image URL as well of their user, but, but we'll see, I'm not sure yet. All right, so let's create a comment like this. Um, so what we need is four things, a user handle, a scream ID, a body, and a created at. So a scream ID we'll get from this one scream. So copy this and then let's create the collection again. It's going to have an auto ID, a field of scream ID, that scream ID, a user handle. We only have one user right now, or at least because I deleted the other users, uh, a body. Uh, which will say nice scream man and exclamation marks or ape I suppose makes more sense and a created that which will be a string and uh, let me copy this date uh, from here cool all right so let's save there we go we have a comment that is attached to this screen I mean it's not attached because this is a document based collection but we will make it so so let's go to our um, screams. Actually, let's go back to index. We need to import this, copy this, get scream, and add it to here. And let's save all files. Go to screams.js and let's create this get scream function. So exports dot get scream equals takes a request, a response, arrow function to uh, let's. Uh, declare a variable scream data is an empty object and let's do db dot document doc and the back back ticks and do slash screams slash dollar sign curly braces to access a variable request dot params for parameters dot uh, scream id like this get 
And of course, this returns a promise and this will hold a document. So let's do, let's do another check as well. So let's do if not doc dot exists, which is a, a boolean uh, that, that tells us whether this document exists or not. We'll here stop and return res dot status of 404, which stands for not found. Uh, JSON uh, with an error of scream not found in case someone sends a request to slash scream slash an ID that doesn't exist anymore. All right, so else um, we just add this data. Well, we don't need to do an else because it's um, inferred already. So let's do scream data equals document dot data as a function. And then now we want to add the ID of the uh, scream to the data because we're going to need it later. So let's do scream data dot scream ID equals uh, doc dot ID. All right. So now we need to fetch the comments of this uh, scream as well. So let's do return db dot collection comments where scream ID equals um, yeah the request dot params dot scream ID dot get so this returns a promise so we do another then here dot then and uh, we get uh, a query snapshot because this will be this can be multiple um, documents so let's initialize Let's say scream data dot comments equals an empty array and let's do data dot for each document and let's do scream data dot push and we push doc dot data and uh, we don't need the ideas of the comments so after here um, so our comments are already there. So we just need to return this data. So let's do return scream. No, not, not scream data. Res dot Jason. Um, no, without curly braces, just scream data like this, because it's already a JSON. And of course, dot catch. And response dot uh, status five hundred dot JSON error error dot code. All right, I think this is it for this function. All right, let's test if this is working. So I'm already running Firebase uh, serve. Uh, if you're not, take the time to run it, and let's go to Postman and test this out. Okay, so this is going to be slash scream slash a scream ID. And let's go to our database and grab this scream ID right here. Paste it. And it's a get request with no headers. Even though if you have headers, it doesn't affect it. So let's just send it. And it's loading. Internal server error. Interesting. Scream data dot push is not a function. Oh, it's because scream data dot comments dot push. Oops, because comments is the array. Scream data is an object. All right, let's try again. Cool, we get our data, and um, what we need to do though, because right now we have only one comment. So it, it, this problem doesn't appear, but if we'd have multiple comments right here, it's going to sort them differently. Actually, I'm not sure what it sorts them by, but we need it to sort them by uh, created that because we want to show the latest one uh, first. So let's go here. Let me close the console. And here, after we fetch our comments, after the collection thing, we say order, not 
like this order. <laughs> How do you spell order? By and it's by created at and in a descending order. So let's save and run the query again. Well, of course, we're not going to see any difference because it's just one comment and we get an internal server error. Oh, I know why. It's because Firebase, uh, when you have a, fire, a complex Firebase query, you need to create an index for it. But for usually it gives us a URL, but some, for some reason this URL is formatted in a very funny way. Let's try again and see if it, if the the response like the the console log is actually formatted properly here. All right, so this is the URL. You're you're gonna get as well a URL. It says it's gonna say the query requires an index. So you can create it here. So you just click this control click from the console so that it opens it on the browser. And what's cool about Firebase, the index is already ready for us to be created. However, this doesn't show anything for some reason. Let's go to index this again. Okay. Let's copy and paste this. All right, we click create index. And this is gonna take a couple of minutes, so I'll be back once it's done. Okay, now that our index has been created, we can actually send this request again, and it should show us the data. And it does. And now even if we add uh, another comment, actually let's add another comment just to show that it works. So let's go to our comments and let's do, oops, no, add a comment. And what fields do we have? We have a user handle, the same user, and we have a body, uh, say another comment, and we have a create that. Um, let me put, uh, copy that date from that file right here. And I'm gonna add one day instead of the 15th of March, it's gonna be the 16th of March. And we're gonna have another field of scream ID. I'm gonna copy it from here and submit that and send the query again. We get two comments and the latest one is this one, we get it first, cool. All right, so let's create a route for actually submitting comments without having, you know, <laughs> to create them on Firebase manually. So let's go to index. Instead of this to do comment, let's do app.post at slash scream slash scream, um, colon scream ID, uh, scream ID slash comment. And this will be a protected route. So let's add the auth middleware. And this will say comment on scream. Let's copy comment on scream. Let's go to here, add it, and let's go and create it. So here at the bottom, let's add a comment here saying our get or fetch, prefer fetch one scream. Fetch makes it makes it um, sound like uh, like the code is my uh, you know like the code works for me, which makes more sense because it does. All right, so exports I don't know comment on screen equals request response and here what we need to do is we need to validate the body but we only have one field so we don't create a function for it we just say request dot um if request dot body dot body again because the property is called body dot trim the equals an empty string that means the user sent empty data so let's do on the same line return res dot status 400 with a json error 
gonna say comment must not be empty or actually it just must not be empty because the input will already say comment on it so if we say comment again it doesn't make sense otherwise let's do const let's create this comment object that we're going to persist to our database new comment equals object the body of the comment is request oops request dot body dot body the uh, created at is a uh, new date to uh, iso string the scream id is request dot params dot scream id the user handle we get from our request dot user object that's passed through our middleware so the handle of course and uh, actually we do need to store the uh, the user image because what we want to do later when we fetch the comments we don't want to fetch the comments and then depending on that comment as well fetch uh, depending on the user handle of the comment as well, fetch the uh, the profile image of the user. So let's do here user image, add something called user image, and this will be request dot user dot image URL. Now we haven't added this yet, but we can. So let's go to our util. What's cool about this because we've already sent a request to the database, so we already have all the properties of the user. So here we can just add another one called request dot user dot image URL equals data dot docs um, zero dot data the function dot um, image URL. All right. Um, yeah, we're done here. Let's go back. So here we have the user image stored with the comment. So let's persist this. Um, what do we do actually? Oh, we need to actually confirm that the scream exists because this screen might not exist anymore. So let's do db dot doc uh, backticks slash screams slash um, dollar sign uh, thing um, curly braces request dot params dot scream id to get this um, scream dot get dot then doc because this is uh, db dot doc so it has to return one document so let's say if not dot dot exists so if it doesn't exist we return res dot status 404 because we don't want um, users submitting um, comments to IDs that don't exist anymore and then we'll have to like uh, persist comments uh, with scream IDs that don't exist anymore. So we just say here if the scream doesn't um, exist we say scream not found and then if we pass this if and nothing happens not not pass it as in if it's not triggered then we just um, do db dot collection and it would be the collection of comments. Now we add our comments. So dot add, uh, which I believe we haven't used yet, is this is the function that you use to add a document and you pass it a JSON. Like, and in this case, our JSON is already created. So we copy that and we add our new comment object. And here we do dot then. This returns a, um, a write result, I think. No, actually a document reference. But we don't need it anyway. Um, if we come to this then block, that means the document was created successfully. Uh, so we just say res. We actually need to return it. Res.json new comment. We return our comment back to the user because they need to add it on the uh, user interface. Of course, here we do dot catch error and console.log. res not release event res dot status 500 json um, error error dot code or uh, oh, oops actually what am I doing this could happen a lot so we could just say error 
Let's just say something. The classic something went wrong. Okay, so let's save all files. And now let's go to Postman. So we have this scream ID. We do slash scream slash scream ID slash comment. And before we do that, we need to actually log in. Let's copy all of this. Let's open a new uh, tab. Uh, send the post request with the body of type application JSON. And let's log in. So email will be user at email.com or whatever user you have on your database. Password will be the password we set for we set for it. What four oh four not found? Oh, oops, slash login. Let's get the token. So here, let's do bearer token. And by the way, that request we did earlier to get the screen was not a protected one. Uh, just to to prove to you, let's send a get request without the authorization header. We still get uh, the screen because it's not protected. So here slash comment, and we put the token. And in the body, we have, if you remember, we have only one property of body. And this will be uh, comment number three. Let's send, oh, not a get, post, send, scream not found. Really? Uh, let me make sure I got the right ID. I did. Scream not found. Oh, what am I doing? Scream ID, not screams. Okay, let's try again. Something went wrong. Let's check the, the error log. Line number 96, return db.collection comment add new comment. What's wrong with that? Okay, so after console login, uh, the comment, the object that I created, turned out that the user image was undefined for me. You probably didn't have this error because um, because when I log uh, signed up this user, I hadn't implemented the image URL logic at that time. So let's just add image URL here, or let me just add this and add the link to the no image, and uh, this should fix the problem. Yeah, okay. So now image URL should uh, would not be undefined. Cool. Because when I was trying that, one, one of the keys had the undefined value, which is not allowed by Firebase. All right, so the comment is submitted now, and I get the comment back with the user image, which we'll use to display on the comment in the front end. And if we go to uh, our comments collection, we see that we get comment number three, cool, with the user image. All right, so this is it for comments and fetching the one screen. In the next video, we're gonna be working on liking and unliking screens. So look forward to that one, bye.